guys, I'm back again with another great book. Today I'm reading a book called Cordwood by Don Freeman. My stuff is on vacation still. My Don house friends are joining us today. He's Harry. And so is he and he. And she is too. And not me, not me. I'm not Harry. Today we are drinking pure peppermint by Twinin. Here, would you guys like some tea? Instead of mommy playing the piano and daddy relaxing, it's mommy, who, it's mommy who's relaxing and daddy's playing the piano. Let's get to that book. Cordroy by Don Freeman. Cordroy is a bear who once lived in the toy department of a big store. Day after day he waited with all the other animals and dogs for somebody to come around and take him home. The store was always filled with choppers buying all sorts of things, but no one ever seemed to want a small bear in green overalls. Then one morning a little girl stopped and looked straight into Cordway's bright eyes. Oh, Mommy, she said, look, there's the very bear I've always wanted. Not today, dear, her mother sighed. I've spent too much already. Besides, he doesn't look new. He's lost the button to one of his shoulder straps. Corduroy watched them sadly as they walked away. I didn't know I'd lost a button, he said to himself. Tonight I'll go and see if I can find it. Late that evening, when all the shoppers had gone and the doors were shut and locked, Cordray climbed carefully down from his shelf and began searching everywhere on the floor for his lost button. Suddenly, he felt the floor moving under him. Quite by accident, he had stepped onto an escalator, and up he went. Could this be a mountain, he wondered? I think I've always wanted to climb a mountain. He stepped off the escalator as it reached, reached the next floor, and there before his eyes was the most amazing sight. Tables and chairs and lamps and sofas and rows and rows of beds. This must be a palace, Cordroy gasped. I guess I've always wanted to live in a palace. He wandered around admiring the furniture. This must be a bed, he said. I've always wanted to sleep in a bed, and up he crawled onto a large, thick mattress. All at once, he saw something small and round. Why, here's my button, he cried, and he tried to pick it up. But like all the other buttons on the mattress, it was tied down tight. He yanked and pulled with both parts until pop. Off came the button, and off the mattress, Cordroy toppled bang into a tall floor lamp. Over it fell with a crash. Cordray didn't know it, but there was someone else awake in the store. The night watchman was going his rounds on the floor above when he fought, called the crash. He came down, dashing down the escalator. Now who in the world did that, he exclaimed. Someone must be hiding around here. He flashed his light under and over the sofas and beds until he came to the biggest bed of all. And now he saw two fuzzy brown ears sticking up from the, under the cover. Hello, he said. How did you get upstairs? The watchman took Cordroy under his arm and carried him down the escalator and set him on the shelf in the toy department with the other animals and dogs. Cordway was just waking up when the first customers came into the store in the morning, and they were looking at him with a wide, warm smile with the same little girl he'd seen only the day before. I'm Lisa, she said, and you're going to be my very own bear. Last night, I counted what I've saved in my piggy bank, and my mother said I could bring you home. Shall I put him in a box for you, the sales lady asked. Oh, no, thank you, Lisa answered, and she carried Cordroy home in her arms. She ran all the way up 
four flights of stairs into her family's apartment and straight to our own room. Corduroy blinked. There was a chair and a chest of drawers. In alongside a girl-sized bed stood a little bed, just the right size for him. The room was small, nothing like that enormous place in the department store. This must be home, he said. I know I've always wanted a home. Lisa sat down with Corduroy on her lap and began to sew a button on his overalls. I like you the way you are, she said, but you'll be more comfortable with your shoulder strap fastened. You must be a friend, said Corduroy. I've always wanted a friend. Me too, said Lisa, and gave him a big hug. The end. That peppermint tea is so refreshing. Tea dollies dressing up and great books are my favorite things. It's so nice to be with you all here today. So please subscribe this. More stories and teas coming your way. That's it for today. Bye.